In this video, I will illustrate two different methods to update your GoPro Hero 9 camera firmware as of June 23rd, 2021. The first method will be via the phone application, and the second method will be via your computer. In this video, I will be updating my GoPro Hero 9 to version 1.6. This is as of June 23rd, 2021. Here we have the latest information for the improvements to the GoPro for version 1.6. The first thing I would suggest is checking the current version on the camera to ensure that you actually do need to update your camera. So here I'm swiping down, I'm swiping to the left, selecting preferences. Scrolling up and selecting about, then selecting camera info. Here we can see the version on my camera is version 1.52. So now let's go ahead and use the phone application to update the camera. So first you want to open the GoPro Quick app. In the upper right hand corner we need to select the camera icon and then we need to find our camera in the app. Here we have the GoPro Hero 9. I'm selecting control your GoPro. This can take a while. Um, if the app does not open and access your camera you might choose to power cycle the camera and power cycle the app or close the app and open the app back up. Here we can see the update by default. If there's an update available when you open the app, it will be displayed and you can just go ahead and select accept and continue to that legal agreement. Now we need to wait for the files to transfer. This method takes a quite a long time, approximately five minutes to transfer over the wireless connection. I've sped this up 800%. The actual time was five minutes. On the phone, we can just go ahead and select a got it. Once the update's complete, the camera will indicate update complete. The next method is to use your computer and a micro SD card. This might be something you need to do if you have an issue connecting your phone to your GoPro camera. So the phone option might not be available to you. So we need to open up the GoPro and remove the micro SD card from the GoPro. Then you'll need to connect the micro SD card to your computer via some sort of adapter. Your computer might have a micro SD slot on it, or you might have to purchase a USB to micro SD adapter like shown in the video. Next, you need to log into your GoPro account online at gopro.com. If you do not have one, go ahead and set one up. Up in the upper right, we're going to go ahead and select settings after I've logged in. Then we're going to scroll to the devices tab. And if you have a bunch of GoPro cameras, you'll need to scroll down to the specific camera, the GoPro 9, and then select on download update. That file will download to your computer in the form of a zip file. Once that file is downloaded, go ahead and open the file. Copy the three files to your Windows clipboard. So here I'm highlighting the files and selecting copy in Windows. Next, find your micro SD drive. And here on my computer it is letter drive letter P. Uh, we need to create a folder and call it update. Go into the folder and then paste the files and then wait for them to transfer to the micro SD card. Right, once you have that done, I would suggest right clicking on the drive letter and select eject in Windows. Then go ahead and remove the micro SD card from your computer. And then insert the micro SD card into your GoPro Hero 9. Go ahead and turn the camera on. Once you see this icon, it means the update is occurring. Wow. 
and then you'll see update complete when the process has completed. And then the camera will turn back on again. So overall, it appears to me at a glance that the responsiveness of the screen is improved as the release of 1.6 states that it would be. There's a few times here where I press and I don't get any activity. Uh, generally, I would suggest when you're pressing on the GoPro 9 that you press and hold slightly. Don't tap like you do on the GoPro 7 and 8. You kind of need to more press your finger and hold it down for a split second uh, or a second or so to get better responsiveness. So, so far it appears to me at a glance that the sensitivity is a little bit better. However, I've had more sensitivity issues at cold temperatures, so whether this is vastly improved uh, would need to test it in a really cold environment, I believe, to, to really make sure. I hope this video helps you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel. My channel content primarily consists of automotive videos and camera and how-to tutorials and creating of those videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.